all new artwork and whole new design everything. Okay. Gate card silver. It's called Silver Sword. The attribute um, boosts are really small here. Zero to Pyrus, 50 to Aquas, 100 to Subterra, 200 to Chaos, 150 to Darkest, it's the highlight, and 100 to Ventus. Silver gear give their printed G power an extra time. I do not know what that means by silver gear. This guy's green. Maybe it has, maybe it has something to do with the attribute symbol thing. Um, the rest of the gate cards. Weak wind. And again, all these characters, I have no idea what they are. They're brand new season 3, but... These guys look kind of similar. I don't know. VR Arena number one. That is a silhouette of a leaf frame, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, this one 150 to Pyrus, 150 to Aquas, 200 Subterra, 180 Chaos, 130 Darkest, and 50 Ventus. VR Arena number four. And. Maybe a Shao Vulcan ball form? I don't know. And lastly for the gate cards, VR Arena number three. It's like, that's Dan, he's, yeah, that's Dan, he's like purpley, kind of like the shadow, it's kind of weird looking. And the ability cards, and, what's that? Blue! Yes, blue. Some new colors to the background. Blue and purple. Okay, so, yeah, the blue ones are for the battle, do something with the battle gear, they're somehow connected to them. See, it says Bakugan battle gear on the side. Regular ability cards red. Dead calm. Play before you roll. Lower the power level to zero until the start of your next turn. Percival there kind of coming out of some smoke thing. Now this is the Loom and Growl ability cards. Look, that's what Loom and Growl looks like in monster form. Cool. Play during a battle, you have a Loom and Growl. Add G power based on, on attribute. Then your backing on changes to the attribute of your enemy. So it gets 50 to chaos. That kind of sucks because my Loom Growl is darkest, so it doesn't really work with him. Last red ability card, Doom Wind Start. Play at the start of your first turn if you have both Darkest and Ventus in your force. Huh. Take an extra turn after this one. Okay. Now for the new blue ability cards for the Battle Gear. The Lantor Gear. So. That's what his name is, Philantor. And it, it's... I don't really know how this works. There's Darkest and Aquas, and they have bo both have different directions to what the ability card does. For Darkest, it says, All ability cards your opponent played during this battle are removed from the game. And for Aquas, it says, Swap the gate card with any gate card in your enemy's use pile. The tin, I don't think it comes with any directions. So, like, new instructions for Season 3. So I, I have no idea how any of this works. And then Rock Hammer. Ventus it says, move any gear or back on trap from an unused pile that's owner, owner's use pile. In Subterra, all gate bonuses higher than 100 are lowered to 100. The, on the side, they all say back on bow gear. Ooh. Um, let me move all this stuff out of the way. Inside of this tin, it's kind of like a velvety, kind of plastic sort of thing. You can store your cards in the middle and then traps or back on whatever you want on the sides. There is just some metal and I believe a Bakugan can stick to it. Yep, so that's cool. And, ooh, looks cool. But the back there's that new guy who I have no idea who it is. Wait, that's Strike Flyer. That's who it is, Strike Flyer. He has the same kind of head shape thing, and, yeah, that's Strike Flyer. Um, this thing, the back doesn't come off. Yeah, that's the Strike Flyer, Strike Flyer, um, Baku Tin.
Um, where's the lid? Okay. Get that back on there. There it is. And here is the bow gear and luma growl. One more time. And now I'm going to show you how to connect them. Wow, it's not that hard. Vlantor has these little push-out things on the bottom. And they have a magnet inside of them with a little hole. So there's just two little pegs on the back of Lumigrow and they just magnetize to each other, stick together like that. And get his feet out again. That is what he looks like all of his, with his new bow gear on back of him. Yeah, so the tail, it folds down like that so the bow gear can fit, fit on the back of his, on his back. Still have no idea what this little attribute symbol right there does. Somehow connects to the other regular attributes, just don't know yet. So yeah, it's been an exciting day. And head to your local Toys R Us, because I bet they will have the new Gundlin Invader um, stuff. So yeah, see you later. One last thing, on the front of these guys, there's another sticker, a sticker right there, and that's what the DNA code is. There, um, it's on the Lantor right there. So yeah, that feature of Bathlon.com is not up and running yet, because these aren't really officially out. So. Yeah, expect that in, in the coming future.